miracles. Some have them, some don't. The Apostle Paul performed numerous miracles during his missionary journeys, including healing a man who was disabled since birth, and even raising a young man named Eutychus from the dead. Paul lived such a miraculous life that people would touch him with a cloth, take the cloth to a sick person, and the sick person would be healed. Many Muslims are convinced that Muhammad performed miracles, but it's important to note one, that stories about Muhammad's miracles were written more than a century after his death. Two, that they were written during a time when Muslims were forging stories about their prophet like it was an Olympic sport. And three, that they were written in response to repeated challenges from Jews and Christians who wanted to know why Muhammad couldn't perform miracles. Our earliest Islamic source is the Quran, and the Quran repeatedly admits that Muhammad couldn't perform any miracles other than delivering the Quran. Surah 6, verse 37. And they say, Why has not a sign been sent down to him from his Lord? Say, Surely Allah is able to send down a sign, but most of them do not know. Surah 10, verse 20. And they say, Why is not a sign sent to him from his Lord? Say, The unseen is only for Allah, therefore wait. Surely I too, with you, am of those who wait. Surah 13, verse 7. And those who disbelieve say, Why has not a sign been sent down upon him from his Lord? You are only a warner, and there is a guide for every people. Surah 13, verse 27. And those who disbelieve say, Why is not a sign sent down upon him by his Lord? Say, Surely Allah makes him who will go astray and guides to himself those who turn to him. Surah 17, verse 59. And nothing could have hindered us that we should send signs except that the ancients rejected them. And we gave to Samud a she-camel, a manifest sign, but on her account they did injustice. And we do not send signs but to make men fear. Surah 29, verses 50 to 51. And they say, why are not signs sent down upon him from his Lord? Say, the signs are only with Allah, and I am only a plain warner. Is it not enough for them that we have revealed to you the book which is recited to them? So Allah makes a variety of excuses for not giving Muhammad any miracles, but embedded in these excuses is an admission that Muhammad couldn't perform miracles. Hence, unless Muslims want us to reject the Quran, we're forced to conclude that the Prophet of Islam was about as miraculous as a can of cheese whiz. As for Muhammad's claim that the Quran itself is a miracle, I give him an award for worst argument ever, but I'm fresh out of blue ribbons. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. In case you stumbled upon this video while browsing or searching, I wanted to let you know that it's part of a series comparing Paul and Muhammad. So if you'd like to see the full series, be sure to click on the playlist. If you're already in the playlist, you're about to see that while Paul died an honorable death as a martyr, Muhammad died a disgraceful death as a false prophet.